Welcome back to Black Clover Anime Review, episode number 11. This is our review of the first episode of The Promised World and the 184th chapter of the manga, Dream World. Yeah, it's really weird the fact that these things have the word world in it. Yeah, now... The page I usually look up basically information what these chapters definitely wasn't created yet, so I had to kind of guess, and I was proved to be correct. This episode is adapted from chapters 93 and 94, and about part way into chapter 94. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much for this episode, we had the wrap up of the Mars, Mars and Feneral, Mars and Zell versus Lederos. Yeah, that fight gets wrapped up in this episode. Yeah, in the most unusual way possible. Yeah, when Fauna, when Fauna has her time and throw a fireball at Asta, he sort of redirects it at Lados via, and of course, team with Mars, forming this gigantic wind tunnel and blasting him. And it says, and they say, "Oh yeah, his magic has appeared." And when Mars sees Fauna, he's like, "Fauna!" <laughs> yeah, and he's like shocked to see that she's she's alive. Of course, he's not. She's he's not the only one. Zell is surprised that she's alive because last he heard, she she was dead. Yeah. And of course, in the case of Mars, he's the one who technically killed her in self-defense. Well, he had no choice in the matter because this people who ran this program, this human experimentation program, came up with the stupid idea of having these children in order to become this country's mightiest sage, kill each other. No idea why they thought this was a good idea. Lucky enough that the Clover King doesn't do this bull crap. If you keep doing this, you will have no soldiers left, much less a population. Yeah, I think that I think that this is probably also the reason why Zell basically left the country. Because even he knew this was stupid. And it turns out that not only Mars and Lederos are former students of his, apparently Fauna is also a former student of his. Yep. And through the combined might of Asta and Mars, they're able to stop Fauna from self-destructing. Yeah, she's about to self-destruct, like what happened in the last arc, when they went to the Undersea Kingdom to get one of those special crystals. Mm -hmm. Yep, and they're able to stop her after they stop her magic, after Asta basically stops magic. Basically, Mars, while using the ability known as Phoenix Robe, it's a healing ability, yeah, it also heals up Asta so he doesn't burn because the area around Fauna basically is like a giant oven. Yeah, an actual oven. So, even though he pretty much had the same power, so he sort of hugs her and tells her that he's sorry for what he did and, and she's hit and, and her third eye that she got on her forehead, yeah, that completely disappears. It evaporates. And apparently she turns good. Yep. And she remembers his name being Mars, stuff like that. Though that has not explained why she has pointy ears. Yes. Because if you see her in flashbacks, her ears are perfectly normal. And yet here, she has pointy ears. It's kind of also revealed that the item in that some brainwashed her to basically who she is. They're the one that gave her that third eye. And yeah. The episode also has one of these little um, petal clover things, which is really funny. I thought this was really nice that the animators would do this, where they have basically a Fauna and Mars just basically kind of have a conversation. Like, it's like, hey, it shows up as Grimoire, which basically is made from also part of hers. Yeah, perhaps that she should also tell him that her Grimoire has also a piece of his. Yep. And of course, she has this figure thing of stabbing him, but he can't exactly die because he's got a modified body. And apparently me emotionless and find various enemies. And apparently finding Asta, apparently that's what caused him to regain his memories. Okay, a little odd. But this overall was a really damn good episode. But here's kind of the thing. The way it's teasing for next week, it looks like they're teasing like the last two fights of this arc in the next episode. Though I think it'd be kind of dumb for the anime to do this, to adapt... Two fights, which can easily take up two episodes anyways, because the fight that comes right after this one is just Asta versus Lederos, and this takes up a good, like, five chapters. 
actually, no, King takes up four chapters, and then the final fight of this particular arc is about pretty much also four chapters as well. So I would not be surprised if somehow they decided to have it where this particular arc wraps up in just two more episodes. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that they don't do the thing where they do where they do to re adapt like seven chapters in one episode. I hope that God they don't do that. I don't mind if they tease the the last fight at the arc at the end of the episode. I don't have a problem with that. But do not have two fights in the same episode. That would be kind of dumb to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall, fantastic episode. Can't wait for next week, and I think next week may be, in fact, the pendulum episode of this arc. Yeah, this arc has been going on now for at least, as of this episode, for at least 11 episodes. Yeah, so it looks like this particular arc basically is going to be adapted for at least 13 episodes. Yeah, um, let me check and see here. Um, how long is this arc initially in the manga? I just want to be sure about this. Yeah, because it's looking like this arc is going to wrap up with, with not next week. I'm hoping not next week's episode. Hopefully they have at least one more episode of this. Because the arc that comes right after this is the tra is a training arc. Which this one is a good 10 chapters. So my prediction, if they do in fact do two chapters an episode, they can get this arc done in just five episodes. Yep, five. The current arc, which is uh, two arcs after this, at least about three arcs after this one. Yeah, that one... When it gets to the current arc, my guess is they probably won't start adapting the current arc probably not until next year. Yeah. And it will probably wrap up in just a couple. Yeah, so I think that this particular arc will wrap up in the anime, the Witch's Forest arc. Yeah, this will wrap up before the end of the month. Yeah, that's my personal theory anyways. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk about the newest chapter of the manga, Dream World. We have it where looks like Luck, Fendril, and a couple others in Black Bull. I think it's uh, um, Kami, I think her name is the one who always eats, despite the fact she's really thin. And she's like four years older than Asta. Yeah, that's, what that, that's actually real in the anime. They fight against some, they fight against one of the elves. Oh yeah, it's not Fendril, it's the, um, the guy who's cool and wears shades. Yep. And of course, they get flown around, attacked by a flying mantis. I think this, yeah, I think this is supposed to be Fauna. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Noel is fighting in her underwear. <laughs> no idea why. Yeah, but she's fighting in her underwear, which is quite unusual for her. This is not, this is not Vanessa. This is Noel. I can tell by looking at her. This is basically Vanessa. But I have heard her fight under probably because she went to Valkyrie dress. That's probably the reason why. They have Cammy just bring out some food just to heal everybody up. It could be Vanessa. Could be. They blast away at this other people. Blast this creature. We have this two-page spread of like the praying mantis thing get taken out. And Cammy's like, my food! Oh no! And of course they use a lightning attack to take it out. And there's an explosion. And it's like everyone's like unhappy, and then we see the looks like Fauna because she chopped some orb. So and all of a sudden, Cam uh, Charmy is like, "I'm sleepy." And all of a sudden, like the girls are sleeping for some reason, except yeah, Noelle looks like she's about to slow asleep as well. He's like, "Give me a freaking break here!" And then all of a sudden, I think I think this is supposed to be Charmy, and then. And then she decided to form glasses completely out of nowhere. Puts on the glasses. And apparently she's immune from that particular spell. Jack, okay. Something pops in your head, usually feeling different conscious. Yeah, so basically this whole fight took place in Dream World. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a okay chapter. It's not a terrible one, per se. No. I enjoyed it. Okay. This particular arc overall in the manga was I have the I have the notes up for this thing. This was almost thirty chapters. This was like a good twenty eight chapters and it's gonna wrap up in just a couple episodes. Mm -hmm. The night that the arc that comes right after the next arc, which is ten chapters. Uh that one is exactly twenty one chapters. 
who knows how long this was going to last for. Probably like a handful of episodes. Probably slightly longer than, than the Hot Springs Trains King of our... The current are currently... As of this particular chapter, it is exactly 52 chapters in. Which means this arc is going on now for exactly one year. Yes, 52 chapters in. Mm -hmm. But it's just an okay chapter. It's always good to see Charmy. Just adorable. Adorable girl. Despite the fact she's 19, this even though she's looked like a little girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, otherwise, though, that's really it for this particular review. So stay tuned for, for at least for about a few more videos I plan to do today. My next video I'm going to do is sort of a correction video of my recent review of the last couple light novels for High School DXT. Expect to see a video next, okay? But do see the next video. Bye.